हाय सो नाउ वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद आवर एसए मॉड्यूल नाउ बिफोर वी स्टार्ट लेट मी क्लेरिफाई टू थिंग्स फर्स्ट थिंग इज दिस पर्टिकुलर मॉड्यूल इज वैलिड और यूजफुल नॉट ओनली फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री का एस्पेरेंट बट ऑल्सो फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर का एस्पेरेंट्स एनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज लेट मी टेल यू दैट इफ यू इफ यू आर एबल टू वॉच द एंटायर लेक्चर्स अंडर दिस मॉड्यूल देन वन थिंग विल बी वेरी श्योर दैट यू विल बी एबल टू राइट फिलोसॉफिकल एसे इज वेरी कंफर्टेबली and to prove that particular fact i will be taking one example in this session itself down the lane right down this video uh, i will try to take up one example to prove that you will be very comfortable in writing philosophical essays after going through this particular module now let's start with some basic details on the course see many times like many of you will have this these basic uh, you know doubts in your mind so just to clarify all those i will start with this allow me few minutes i will just try to prove you the utility of this particular module with respect to answer writing theek okay. hai this module will contain three things uh, lectures worksheets and content so from uh, on the front of content on the front of content you will be getting your essay book delivered at your door step theek hai aise ki book is a part of this particular module we will collect the address for the same and we will try to dispatch that book at your door step the other important component of this particular lec uh, lecture series will be your worksheets so in every lecture i won't only do the plain gyan baji i won't only <laughs> try to impart the knowledge to you people rather we will try to use that knowledge practically on the worksheets so i have decoded the entire essay writing in such a fashion that if you are able to do these worksheets along with me na see in this lecture only you will realize that how practically we have framed the entire module sirf gyan baji nahi hogi abhi dekhiye kya ho raha hai as of now many aspirants are struggling in writing a good essay just for the simple fact that whatever the course you see in the market there is just a just a uh, element just an element associated to all those things that those particular lectures would be more oriented towards giving you the information sirf baatein hongi but you want to be able to you know write the essay finally in your copy that you want to be able to do so understanding all those problems we have tried to decode the essay writing in this particular module and let me reiterate i will try to prove it in this strategy session itself course validity so as i already told you in the very starting of the lecture that this course is useful for both 2023 and 2024 ka aspirants so the course will be valid until february 2024 so you can watch the lectures access the worksheets until february 2024 ka month very comfortably right how many lectures a simple doubt for many of you maybe out of curiosity or out of ki yaar aap logo ke paas pehle hi padhne ke liye bahut kuch hai so let me tell you that the roi if i talk about return on investment in this particular module na sir man essay is the only paper in which you can comfortably score 140 marks if you know the skill set theek hai now with my lectured series i will ensure that i am taking you up until 120 marks itna main ensure kar dunga with the three components of this mo module which will be there i will show you so the idea line is we will be devoting around 10 lectures right and if you will go through the roi na return on investment then this is the best roi right that you are able to improve your score from 100 marks to 140 marks at least and 40 marks do matter it do matter theek okay. so moving forward how what will be my approach lecture approach see as of now the problem is 
problem right now is that if you are joining any SA course in the market now, either, either they are only talking about the structure. You may find many videos on that YouTube. ऐसे ऐसे लिखना चाहिए ऐसे फ्लो बनाना चाहिए ऑल दोज थिंग्स राइट डायमेंशन जनरेशन एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा तो दोज विल बी टॉकिंग ओनली अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर्स और एल्स इफ यू विल एनरोल और रजिस्टर टू द कोर्स दे विल बी जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट द थीम्स कि हेल्थ पे ऐसे आ गया वुमेन पे ऐसे आ गया एजुकेशन पे ऐसे आ गया सो यू हैव टू राइट दीज ऐसे बट सर एंड मैम टेल मी वन सिंपल फैक्ट आ रहा है क्या अभी हेल्थ पे एजुकेशन पे डायरेक्ट नहीं आ रहा ऐसे इज बींग आस्ड नाउ ऑन द फिलोसॉफिकल टॉपिक्स सो द ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टिंग मॉड्यूल्स इन द मार्केट आर यूजलेस एंड मे बी आफ्टर वॉचिंग दम यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू राइट अ गुड फिलोसॉफिकल ऐसे बिकॉज दी दीज फिलोसॉफिकल एसेज हैवेंट बीन डिकोडिफाइड यट अभी तक नहीं किया गया बट आई विल शो यू दैट वी हैव डन अ स्मॉल यू नो एफर्ट in that particular direction and i hope you will have appreciated that we have objectified the process of philosophical essay writing and if i will say na that you will love philosophical essays over the thematic essays after watching these 11 or 10 lectures it won't be wrong aapko philosophical essays shayad zyada aasan lagne lag jaye thematic essays se theek hai so we will be discussing about the themes for sure we will be doing it but we will be discussing all those themes in such a fashion that it may be utilized and it can be utilized while writing your philosophical essays aise un pe baat karenge hum hum log direct themes pe baat nahi karenge ki themes pe aise aa gaya to kaise likhna hai we will try to use those themes only to write the philosophical essay and i will prove you that these are the things which should be used and have to be used in order to write the philosophical essays now other thing is uh, you might have seen toppers or maybe maybe many educators uh, right about that you should use the gs syllabus in essay writing now have you ever seen them telling that how you should use the gs syllabus have you ever got the content that you can use x y z thing out of the gs syllabus nahi sirf baatein milengi aapko to sir and ma'am let me tell you again that in our essay notes we have addressed this particular thing very objectively right hum logo ne pure syllabus se kya kya aap use kar sakte hain aise writing we have provided you that content as a fodder in aise notes a book which you will get at your doorstep now here itself i will try to give you a disclaimer sir and ma'am the essay notes which you will get in the hard copy format if you think that you have to read all of it or if you think that you have to memorize all of it then you are very much wrong thing is very simple that even if you are able to memorize 5% of the total content given in your, in your essay notes you are done with your job even with 5% of the content and these 10 lectures you will be able to score at least 120 marks acha my target is not 120 my target is target is 140 marks i will be adding up the tools in my upcoming lectures and i will be telling you that how you can improve that score from 120 to 140 120 is something which all of you who will be you know referring the, to the course उनके आ जाएंगे आई विल प्रूव इन दिस सेशन ओनली कैसे कैसे करेंगे ये भी मैं करके दिखाऊंगा ठीक है सो दिस इज द मॉड्यूल ऑफ एस राइट इन एवरी लेक्चर इफ यू कैन सी ना इन एवरी लेक्चर इफ यू कैन सी वी हैव डिवाइडेड एवरी लेक्चर इन टू थ्री पार्ट स्ट्रक्चरिंग थीम एंड यूपीएससी सिलेबस एंड लेट मी माइंड यू अगेन वी वॉन्ट बी स्टडिंग दीज थीम्स as if we have to write the essay directly on the theme we will be looking to all of them as if we wo we would be utilizing the content of these themes in philosophical essays theek hai and i will prove that in this very lecture itself again theek hai 
so that is how every lecture will be divide, divided for example when we will be talking about lecture 1 then un under that lecture i will be talking about the major components of the essay whenever you people are writing essay sir and ma'am many of you who might have given mains some of you may have faced the difficulty that you are not getting the optimum score have you thought why the idea line is very simple if essay demands you to address the five components five major components of the essay and if you are only addressing the three out of them then automatically 40 percent of the total marks would be gone khatam. so that is where the importance of this lecture will come i will give you the gist don't worry then the second lecture we will be talking about the introduction the types of introduction the content for the introduction how you can generate the introduction all those things and similarly in subsequent lectures we will be talking about generating dimensions flow of the essay some do's and don'ts for example you might have uh, I, I might have I, I, I have heard many issues from the students sir do we need to make diagrams in the essay so all those will be catered in as a part of do's and don'ts then some brownie points some points which you will be keeping in mind in or achha, it is not something that i will be just talking about i will show you i will give you one practical tool use this you will get some additional marks so we will keep the entire course very practical Sir, baate nahi karenge, hai na? that is why we have included bug sheets also so in brownie points we will be looking forward to all those elements which can fetch you some extra marks from your competitors okay? then conclusion and then i will summarize this in the eighth lecture now you can see i have dedicatedly given three extra lectures or three dedicated lectures on philosophical essays Achha, in all these lectures now i will be dealing with the philosophical uh, essays but in these three lectures we will be practicing philosophical essays this means sir from practice karenge. Her lecture may have a do teen topic jitna bhi possible ho paata hai. we will do the practice on the philosophical essays right so on in each and every lecture we will be talking about philosophical essay by the end of the eighth lecture i will ensure that you are able to write a decent philosophical essay in next three lecture almost we will ensure that you are practicing enough in the class itself on some philosophical topics and i will give you one page uh, handout also for those topics and you will love them i will show you one sample okay so now let's talk about the philosophical essay the very much pain point for each and every aspirant uh, keep in mind the last few years trend of upsc csc examination All right so before starting on this particular topic of philosophical essay there is a there is a demand in this upsc aspirants community sir we need content on philosophical essays we want to write philosophical essays and do you provide content on philosophical essays sir and ma'am aap us cheez ko dhoond rahe jo exist karti hi nahi hai agar if you think that in the philosophical essays you have to write philosophy then you are very much wrong you can ask it from anyone you need not to write any philosophy in the philosophical essays okay so that is a myth that you have to write the philosophies in the philosophical essay that is the myth so if you are asking me the content for philosophical essay there is no extra content we will provide you the essay notes and you have to use the same notes in writing the essay on philosophical topics and that is where i will be helping you in the lectures i will teach you how to use the same notes in order to write the philosophical essay now just to prove my point i will bring in to the picture ai 12 abhinav shivach so just allow me a few minutes okay let's see the copy of abhinav shivach right so here is the copy so he was the part of our main test series uh, in 2022 you can see the copy right 
now sir in mem this is the topic the only true wisdom is knowing you know nothing philosophical hai aise topic is philosophical now see what he has written he has given the example of henry ford right this is the example which we see in terms of anecdotes anecdotes hum dekhte hain world history ke to so this has been driven from there no philosophy at all when you ever you will move forward in the copy na for example see just try to focus upon this paragraph be very uh, vigilant right in this essay essence of the wisdom would be explored first component then how does change in knowledge lead to change in wisdom would be seen second component why does knowledge keep on changing and how once knowledge is limit would be explored third component then this is the fourth component these are the major components which you would be addressing in your essay while you are writing the essay on this topic sir this is the ultimate pain point for every one of you whenever you are talk uh, seeing that philosophical essay ka topic na your brain is not able to or not capable of thinking upon the topics or the sub major components which you need to address and this is the pain point right now and what we will be doing in our lectures is we will be objectifying the process after seeing the topic and after following the guidelines given by given by me in the lecture number 1 upcoming lecture you would be able to figure out the major components of your essay and if you are able to do that you are 50% done with your task i will tell you how don't worry so moving forward let us see what he has used again ancient history then see he has used the example of buddha and i think every one of you must have heard about the buddha lord buddha right the gautam buddha so the same examples which we will be seeing in our gs syllabus will be used here let me explore again for example see here center of universe earth was assumed to be center of universe we we might have seen this in geography uh, the idea line is very simple that you people don't give much importance to those stories but kahin na kahin those are being now used in essay writing so what we have done is we have just compiled all of it into your essay ka notes you have to one time read it just ek bar pad lijiye usko and if even if you are able to recall or remember 5% of the total content you are done with your job very simple very plain okay so let's not stretch it more the idea line is very simple that in philosophical essays also you have to use the same gs ka content same stories same anecdotes there is no extra content you would be able to use yeah, you would be using in your philosophical essay kuch exist hi nahi karta but you should be you know uh, you should be ma mastering that art that how you would be using the available content pehli baat to content available hai dusri baat agar hai to how you have to use that content not to write philosophical essay and that is where i will help you in each and every lecture okay so let's come to the ppt let's come back to the ppt uh, i am saying it from the very starting that i will show you in this very lecture itself that how i will be decoding the entire philosophical essay wala what we say in hindi howa right <laughs> so i will be doing that just a simple exercise for you pause this video try to scribble down something on this the time to repair a roof is when the sun is shining 2022 mein aaya hua hai so you can't say no to this topic right <laughs> i'm taking the things i'm taking all those things which are already proven right i took the example of ai 12 here i am taking the question or the topic which has already been asked by the upsc pause the video and try to write it down once you've done this sir and ma'am now let me come back to the module of essay which we are giving you what we will be doing in this module is we will be trying to break this topic into some major components right we will be breaking this topic into some 
major component these are nothing but major components now all those major components would be having some dimensions we will be showing you the different ways of generating the dimension on any topic i have just solved it for you have a look this will prove all my points in front of you okay this was the topic now if i talk about introduction this we will be dealing in lecture 1 i will tell you the types of introduction the sorry not in lecture 1 in lecture 1 we will be seeing about component generation that how you should be generating the component of an essay you can't miss any major component sir and ma'am agar aapne us is wale topic pe aise likha hai just see the components whether you have addressed all of them or not and if you haven't addressed any one of them you have to give it a second thought you won't be able to score that much and just to eliminate that subjective nature of ma major components i have objectified it in my lecture number 1 which you will be seeing down the line okay so component a is repair a roof when uh, repair a roof when sun is shining so this is the first major component then the other major component it what if you don't repair roof when sun is shining agar aapne roof repair nahi ki jab sun shine kar raha hai acha iska matlab kya hota hai usme main abhi nahi ja raha hu repair the roof ka matlab kya hai to get the things fixed sun is shining matlab there are many outcomes of it bahut sare tarike hain jiske bare mein is pe socha ja sakta hai us pe abhi time barbad nahi karte hain let's come to the structuring framework and how we, i will be helping you theek hai to so sun is shining agar main short mein bataun it is nothing but the optimum कंडीशन ऑप्टिमम रिसोर्सेज राइट कंडीशन ठीक है राइट टाइम फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट मी गिव यूल लेट मी गिव यू अंगल सिंपल एग्जाम्पल आवर फोर फादर्स वाइल ड्राफ्टिंग द कंस्टिट्यूशन दे नेवर इन्फोर्स दे नेवर मेड द डी पी एस पी इन्फोर्सेबल वाई बिकॉज एट द टाइम कंडीशन वॉज नॉट ग्रेट दैट इज द रिजनल दे गे राइट सो दैट इज द Thing, how you can relate this particular topic now देखिए ये सारी बात है ना मतलब क्या होगा ये बहुत सारी वीडियोज आपको मिल जाएंगी बट क्या उनको सुनने के बाद कैन यू राइट ऐसे डिसेंट ऐसे कैन यू राइट डिसेंट ऐसे नो बिकॉज दे वॉन्ट टीच यू हाउ टू राइट इट दे विल कम दे विल टेल यू द फर्स्ट मीनिंग सेकेंड मीनिंग थर्ड मीनिंग फोर्थ मीनिंग टेंथ मीनिंग एंड दे विल लीव द स्टेज दे वॉन्ट टीच यू हाउ टू राइट द ऐसे हाउ टू यूज दो थिंग्स वेरी ऑर्गेनिकली and as per the demand of the examination they want teach you that we will do here so sir the time to repair a roof when sun is shining this was the first component this is the second major component this is the third major component why do people again there is some mistake here why do people fail to repair the roof before sun stops shining that you have to address as the next major component if you are not able to think upon the components i will tell all of it in the lecture one don't worry we will try to practice also in the worksheet and we will try to see the tools which can be used in order to figure out all those elements then the most important one contemporary relevance of essay topic see sir and ma'am if the philosophy topic has been asked in the examination and if you are not writing the contemporary relevance of that particular topic you have lost the examiner there is some philosophy out of the topic right and if you are not addressing the contemporary relevance ki uska abhi use kya hai you are not doing justice this has to be the component then the last component is how you will ensure that you repair roof when sun is shining that what you should do ultimately way forward kind of thing this is nothing but way forward kind of thing see these should not be the headings i just Uh, written them very roughly these should not be the headings there is there are many ways in which you will be writing these headings question mark use kar sakte hain see these will be seen in our lecture question mark hota hai there are some phrases beautiful phrases with which you should be addressing all those things we will see in our lectures here in 
समथिंग मैं जिस्ट दे रहा हूँ आपको बस एक एक ओवरव्यू दे रहा हूँ आपका डर निकल जाना चाहिए फिलोसॉफिकल ऐसे के कि यार इट कैन बी डन एग्जाम्पल्स विच आई है यूज इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन और लेक्चर ऑन द शीट आर वेरी सिंपल एवरी वन ऑफ यू कैन रिलेट विद दो एग्जाम्पल्स I could have taken very difficult ones or very you know unheard ones, but my purpose uh, purpose was to convey the things. Okay. For example, if you want to prove this point, you can take the example from the ancient history of Ashoka, that how after the battle of you know when the sun was shining, after the battle of that that gives him the you know a uh, feeling of awareness. उसके बाद कैसे he left all those things and took the path of righteousness, dharma, right? medieval history ka you can take example that when the ills were there in the religions present how bhakti movement take up the pace how bhakti movement did the task of fixing the roof when sun was shining world history you can take the example of french uh, french revolution that how you know with the extremities of louis 16 king louis 16 people took up the stage and that led to the french revolution world history ka example le lijiye then modern history se raja ram mohan roy raja ram mohan roy what he did sati system now how you will prove that when sun was shining the idea line of renaissance rationalism all those things were booming at that time he used all of them and he eliminated or he helped in eliminating the sati pratha then next example on personal life you can show contemporary example for example if someone is suffering from cancer and he is in stage 1 then there and then tab ka tabhi usko kuch treatment le lena chahiye fix the roof or repair the roof when sun is shining right time par तो सनी शाइनिंग के अंदर मतलब क्या है राइट टाइम सो दिस अप्रोच दिस अप्रोच सर एंड मैम विच आई टू केयर इज नथिंग बट टेम्पोरल अप्रोच नाउ जनरेटिंग दिस डायमेंशन में सीम डिफिकल्ट टू यू बट व्हेन आई विल टेल यू ना ओके थिंक वन एग्जांपल ऑन एंशिएंट हिस्ट्री ऑन मेडिवल हिस्ट्री ऑन मॉडर्न हिस्ट्री एंड आई विल गिव यू द कंटेंट दीस आर द एग्जांपल्स अवेलेबल विद यू आउट ऑफ योर सिलेबस इन योर एसे नोट्स यू वुड बी एबल टू जनरेट देम very easily and maybe better that uh, better than these examples these are the very basics one very basic ones huh so this is the temporal approach this we will be seeing in the uh, separate lecture that how to generate the dimension various approach if you will see these the, these same points can be written another approach very famous and very common pastel i have taken one political example that how 33% reservation in parliament right now is required sun is shining time to repair the roof then de dollarization ka issue you might have heard out right that how us hegemony with the dollar right now is making trouble for others sun is shining time to repair the roof do the de dollarization then demographic dividend for india sun is shining demographic dividend we need to utilize it time to repair the roof then quantum technology sorry quantum technology that how when the time came of investing in the quantum technology india did it you might have seen miss miss mission miss on uh, quantum technology right so that is how we are taking up the things same content sir and ma'am say gs ka content you will be using in order to write a decent philosophical essay none of the example here will be uh, philosophical i will be showing you how i use the syllabus so this is nothing but pastel approach now when i wanted to address the other component what if you don't repair roof when sun is shining agar aapne nahi kiya to kya hoga what will be the outcome so first this i have done through sectoral approach i have taken different sectors i have taken different sectors like agriculture education health biotech i have so i have shown that agar agriculture mein abhi step nahi liya to how it will ruin everything right now more than 50% of the population is living in rural areas 
majority of them are form farmers and most of them are dependent on agriculture now if you want to support them then what will happen the majority of the population would not be able to contribute to the economy of the country and if they are not able to contribute to the economy of the country what will happen how you can achieve your big big goals sarv shreshth bharat how jab aapka more than aapki 60% of the population or 70% of the population is not contributing to your economy how you will make your bharat sarv shreshth that is how then education we talked about demographic dividend now if you are not investing properly in the education then that education won't turn up in skill see skill is one thing but high 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 quality skill is something you know which will be derived out of education now there are there if there are not high quality skills then how will be there high paid jobs and if there are not high paid jobs then how there will be decent per capita income or how there will be improvement in total gdp you getting my point so that is how then healthcare as of now we are we are spending majorly upon the preventive or curative kis pe zyada kharch kar raha we are spending right now majorly on the curative healthcare hum sahi karne mein lage hain कि एक बार खराब हुआ तो सही कर लेंगे अरे आग लगने के बाद बुझाने का क्या फायदा आग लगने ही मत दो ना यू शुड बी इन्वेस्टिंग ऑन प्रिवेंटिव हेल्थ केयर देन बायोटेक का यू कैन गिव एग्जांपल व्हाट इफ वी वुड नॉट हैव बीन इन्वेस्टेड सो ह्यूजली ऑन द कोविड वैक्सीन इन द कोविड वैक्सीन एज अ टाइम ऑफ पेंडेमिक वेन द सन वॉल शाइन वी रिपेयर द रूफ So, अगर नहीं करते दैट एग्जाम्पल यू कैन राइट इन द नेगेटिव एनोटेशन राइट नो वाई डू पीपल फेल टू रिपेयर द रूफ बिफोर सन स्टॉप साइनिंग क्यों फेल हो जाते हैं आप खुद सोच के देखो कि अगर कोई भी एक तकलीफ चल रही है अभी आपके सामने वाई यू आर नॉट एबल टू टेक द एक्शन फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट थिंग इज यू आर नॉट अवेयर की तकलीफ एग्जिस्ट भी करती है यू आर नॉट अवेयर दैट देयर एग्जिस्ट अ प्रॉब्लम now let me assume that problem exist for you you know that problem exist sir if for example many of us know that the problem of corruption exist but what what we are doing chalta hai yaar it is so common that attitude we have so lack of responsibility and lack of acceptance is the second you will write it in separate paragraph one paragraph another paragraph right then okay maine maan liya chalo maine responsibility bhi le li ki yaar main corruption ko ladunga then the other hindrances which i will be failing uh, facing is the fear of failing agar main kuch nahi kar paya to kya that is why i am not moving ahead and i want to be the perfectionist ki main karunga to hoga hi kyun nahi hoga so that is how you are creating friction and you are not able to repair the roof so lastly you do not trust your end results you will write one one paragraph on every one of it now if you might have seen this na this is nothing but your ethics i will teach you this i will show you how to use those things to generate dimensions in essay i have written four different paragraphs by using your ethics that is how you will be using the ethics ka paper i will show you i will teach you ha huh? another dimension contemporary relevance i told you if you are writing philosophical essay and if you are not writing things upon the contemporary relevance or contemporary abhi kya use hai uska agar aap us pe nahi likh rahe hain examiner will deduct the marks ab there are many contemporary examples which i give in my current affairs ka class or maybe ऐसे का करंट अफेयर्स का सेशन आई थिंक टेन और नाइन समथिंग ऐसे था देखिए होगा क्या फॉर एग्जांपल कंटेम्प्री रेलेवेंस ऑफ रिपेयरिंग द रूफ एंड सन इज शाइनिंग राइट नाउ वी नो वी आर एट आवर बेस्ट इन डेमोग्राफिक डिविडेंट इफ यू आर नॉट फिक्सिंग द इश्यू ऑफ चाइल्ड लेबर राइट नाउ 
then how you will be taking the advantage of demographic dividend sir and ma'am so sun is shining you should take the advantage different dimension of child labor very simple one sabko samajh mein bhi aayegi you can always replace these examples and you have the content you will be getting the content book right or might be agar aap baad mein video dekh rahe hain you might have got your content book also climate change ka issue we all know how much disastrous the rising temperature level can be sea level rise ki hum baat karte hain extinction of species ki we talk about we know the sun is shining this is the right time to take an action uh, but are we taking any action are we getting sufficient funds out of the developed country countries are they accepting they have done anything wrong that is how you will bring the climate change into picture now unsc sir this is not even a topic of discussion this is a fact right now that unsc is failing on many fronts you talk about ukraine failed you talk about uh these military coups failed sir prelims mein upsc ne question pucha hai aapse that which of the following countries are related kyun famous hai almost all i think on those lines answer was i think option right option was military coups if i'm not wrong i may be wrong <laughs> so upsc asked the question so we have to reform these multilateral institutions kaise bring us in diversify it right democratize it so contemporary issue then we all know that china nahi ruk raha hai pichle 1.5 2 saal se we are struggling on our arunachal pradesh ka border and all the like eastern border china ke wajah se hum log struggle kar rahe hain bahut time ho gaya hai we should understand one fact that the time has come where we should not be taking it very lightly i'm not saying to uh, ki aap yuddh kar do you raise a war i'm not saying it at all that is not at all a right option i am just making a point that it is the right time to get ourselves ready na with the optimum resources last component so this these were the contemporary examples how to ensure that you repair roof when sun is shining kaise karenge way forward bataiye you have to become an is officer and if you are not writing this examiner will cut some marks to so, सबसे पहले एक चीज समझिए दट देर आर एफर्ट्स एट पर्सनल लेवल इफ यू आर दिस यू विल टेक सम एफर्ट्स एट योर लेवल देन देर विल बी सम एफर्ट्स फ्रॉम द लेवल ऑफ सोसाइटी देन देर विल बी सम एफर्ट्स फ्रॉम द लेवल ऑफ द कंट्री देन देर विल बी सम एफर्ट्स फ्रॉम द लेवल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड आई हैव रिटर्न फ्यू ऑफ दम द पर्सनल लेवल आई शुड शो माई कमिटमेंट consistency dedication determination responsibility responsiveness at the level of society society should be rational we should talk talk about the rational arguments right we should talk about justice society should be responsive abhi ek case hua tha i don't know how many of you have seen the, that particular video a girl was stabbed to death people were passing as if they don't even care मतलब अगर ऑन द पर्सनल लेवल ना यार मेरे को नींद नहीं आई थी पूरी रात आई डोंट नो आई आई सॉ दैट वीडियो ऑन द स्टेटस ऑफ समवन सो दैट इज हाउ वी आर नॉट बीइंग रिस्पॉन्सिव राइट नाउ यू कैन वेरी वेल राइट दैट एग्जांपल इफ यू विश टू देन थर्ड थिंग इज एट द कंट्री का लेवल पॉलिसी ऑफ इक्वलिटी नॉन डिस्क्रिमिनेशन बिटवीन द डिफरेंट रिलीजन्स नॉन डिस्क्रिमिनेट नॉन डिस्क्रिमिनेशन बिटवीन द डिफरेंट सेक्ट्स देन at the level of world we talk about principle of natural justice human rights climate change mein kya ho raha hai kya ho raha hai bhai usa muscle strength koi nahi bol sakta paise ki strength power strength money strength so 
बट दट कंट्री इज नॉट गेटिंग अफेक्टेड अफेक्ट कौन हो रहा है पुअर कंट्रीज आईलैंड आइडिया लाइन इज वेरी सिंपल इन दैट केस इफ द यूएसए इज नॉट बींग रिस्पॉन्सिबल इफ इट इज नॉट बींग पार्टिसिपेटरी थिंग्स वॉन्ट बी रिपेयर रूफ वॉन्ट रिपेयर दैट इज हाउ यू विल राइट द एस That is how you will write the philosophy. Well, I say, one one point pe you can write a paragraph and you will complete your paper. And if you can see these all dimensions are different, writing approach of these dimensions are different. Temporal, pastoral, sectoral, ethical, stakeholders. You will write a very decent essay. And that will be our. This will be our approach in writing philosophical essay. And I hope now you will be aligned that we will decode it. We will decode it for you. Philosophical essays. जो अब तक नहीं हुआ वी विल शो इट हाउ दिस कैन बी डन कमिंग बैक टू द लेक्चर नाउ तो सिंपल नाउ आफ्टर सींग अ फिलोसफिकल ऐसे यू मे बी हैविंग दिस काइंड ऑफ रिएक्शन बट आई विल इंश्योर दैट यू आर गिविंग दिस काइंड ऑफ रिएक्शन आफ्टर गोइंग थ्रू ऑल द लेक्चर्स ओके सो ऐसा होगा क्योंकि वी विल ट्राई टू ऑब्जेक्टिफाई द थिंग्स ना अभी दिक्कत ही है मेंस में क्यों दिक्कत होती है बच्चों को आंसर राइटिंग के लिए व्हाई पीपल स्ट्रगल इन राइटिंग मेंस आंसर बिकॉज दोज आंसर्स आर सब्जेक्टिव इन नेचर इफ आई मेक देम ऑब्जेक्टिव लाइक फिल्म्स का पेपर यू वॉन्ट फील हेजिडेंट टू अटेम्प्ट दैट आपको अभी आप वाई यू फियर ऑफ राइटिंग एनी थिंग बिकॉज दैट इज वेरी मच सब्जेक्टिव दैट इज द रीजन and i will try to reduce the subjective nature of the essay each and everything will be crystal clear in front of you so now how to reach me this is my number t.me uh, sorry this is my telegram handle sunya essay uh, just a small warning or a small request you can take any <laughs> you can consider anything of out of both of them that sometimes i may take some time to revert back to you okay so please allow me that time and after that time also if i don't respond please send me a hi again ha na ego pe mat lijiye koi fayda nahi hai it won't make sense also one thing disclaimer please do not ping me over the price bata do sir aise module ka kya hai meri book nahi pahunchi please yaar that is not my job for that we have a dedicated number 8279 Eight two seven nine six eight eight five nine five, and just the small thing. You may sometimes face some difficulties in calls because as of now, we are receiving a low load of you know, load of love and support from you people. So sometimes हो जा रहा है कि we are not able to take up the take up all the calls right now. इतनी कॉल्स हैं दिन में ठीक है ऑल दो वी आर ट्राइंग टू मैनेज द थिंग्स वी आर ट्राइंग टू बिल्ड अप द स्ट्रेंथ ऑल दो वी आर वेरी डिसेंट स्ट्रेंथ राइट नाउ बट स्टिल वी आर इम्प्रूविंग द थिंग्स सो दैट शुड नॉट बी द इशू एंड ठीक है बाकी आई ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन ईच एंड एवरी थिंग दिस आई वॉन्ट बी कवरिंग यू कैन सी यू कैन पॉज द वीडियो दीज आर सम पेन पॉइंट्स नो सेंस ऑफ रिट्रेटिंग दैम दैम रिट्रेटिंग दैम राइट नाउ before i end let me tell you one thing very simple which i forgot and i think i should have told it at the very starting of your lesson as a lecture just pardon me that this essay module is available both online and offline online you can register right now कोर्स विल बी अवेलेबल अंटिल फरवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर का मंथ ऑफलाइन वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग दीज एट थ्री सेंटर्स दिल्ली बेंगलुरु एंड पुणे सीट्स आर लिमिटेड प्लीज गेट योर सेल्फ रजिस्टर्ड एज सुन एज पॉसिबल एंड लेट मी मीट यू अगेन इन द लेक्चर वन ऑफ योर एस ए मॉड्यूल थैंक यू हैव अ ग्रेट डे